Hi guys. Tonight I'm fixing Noki. Some people call it Noki. Some people call it Naki. However you pronounce it. It's one of my family's favorite dishes now that I found it. Um, I had seen it in a magazine and I read the recipe and I thought... I could probably make that and it's on my to-do list to do and just haven't got around to it but I found it in the grocery store and as you can see it wasn't expensive at all so basically what it is is potatoes flour and a little bit of oil so this won't qualify for whole food plant-based but it's most certainly vegan so if you are participating for Veganuary or you're new on your journey and you're using a little bit of transition foods or you're like me and you use processed foods occasionally, lightly processed foods occasionally, but so long as you don't overdo it, okay? So I'm pairing this with some pasta sauce and I've got half a jar left because I use the other half. Um, this one is organic and it doesn't have any oil. So that I'm pairing it with that. And then I've got some canned diced tomatoes. And I have fixed some lentils in my Instant Pot. And then this came in my Misfit box. And these, I think, because I'm not real sure, is that uh, broccolini. And they've got all the leaves on there. So I'm just dicing that up, leaves, stems, crowns, and everything. And I just take a little bit off the end and that will go in my freezer bag for making veggie broth later. And so I'm just putting these into a skillet with some water to just kind of lightly steam it and soften it up a little bit. Uh, we turners like our vegetables al dente in dishes like this. So we want them to have a bit of crunch to them. We don't like them to do uh, too much cooking because then they kind of get soggy and wilty. Just prefer them to just be slightly slightly cooked so I am putting these in now so that as we talk they'll be cooking to the temperature that we like them so the first thing that you're gonna do is boil your gnocchi and um, Basically, it says to just boil it until it floats on top of the water. And I have put two packages in here in this water and boiled it. And I did that ahead of time so that this recipe will go faster. And um, let me pull this over so that you can see. See how they just kind of puff up real nice? And they just look like little mini boiled potatoes and they kind of have the texture of a pasta but a pasta that my daughter will eat <laughs> when I look for pastas that are um, made with ingredients that are actually healthy like a, a lentil pasta or a whole wheat pasta um, or even a spinach pasta, my daughter just won't eat it. She doesn't like the texture of it and the consistency of it. She'll eat a whole wheat, um, but she prefers just plain old regular pasta that, you know, isn't that great because it's mostly just, you know, ground up flour. So this is mostly potatoes with a little bit of flour. So it's, I consider a lot more healthy than a regular flour and she will eat it and she loves it <coughs> so anyway this was quite the find for us so I'm just like I said lightly lightly cooking these just kind of steaming them a little in that water to bring out that bright green um, color 
And like I said, these were in my Misfit box. And what I'm really loving about the Misfit box is I'm getting vegetables that I wouldn't normally get that I can't find at my grocery store. So I'm really, really loving that. And if you haven't tried it and you are in my area, I think that covers four or five different states. I'll put a link below for you so that you can find that. So basically, you're just going to steam your veg. If you can't find this or you don't have any, you can use spinach or uh, broccoli or kale in this recipe. Um, add onions and garlic if you want. That is already in this tomato basil sauce, so I'm not adding any extra right now. Okay, so all I'm going to do, and like I said, I did, you know, a, a lot of lentils. And these are what I consider batch cook, and I just will put these in the fridge, pull them out, and add them to recipes. So I'm just going to take a couple of big spoonfuls of these, and it's just going to kind of bulk up the dish. It's going to give my family some protein, um, and it will help them feel a little fuller than if I just basically gave them pasta with tomato sauce. Okay, I'm just going to let that heat up a little, and then I'm going to add the um, diced tomatoes and those are the real small finely diced not the big chunky ones and like I said I'm only using half a jar of this pasta sauce because um, the first time I made this I used a full jar and I had a lot of sauce left over and what happens there is Mr. Turner grabs the loaf of bread and he dips all the bread in there to sop up all that sauce so let's hope we got the right amount of sauce this time hold on one second let me grab my spatula so I can pull the rest of that sauce out because I don't want to waste that going down the drain when I rinse this jar out to recycle it because there's an awful lot stuck to the sides. Look at how much, if you can see it in the camera, how much is stuck in there. So I certainly don't want to waste that. There we are. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. And that is what becomes our sauce. Let me pull it over for you. There we go. Doesn't that look nice? Look at all the colors. Give the camera a minute to focus. There we go. Okay, lots of colors. And we, we like our colors when we're cooking. And I'm just going to let that heat up really well. And then all I'm going to do is put that um, gnocchi in it and then sprinkle it with a little bit of my faux Parmesan cheese. Now I put my faux Parmesan, and see how I wrote on the side faux. <laughs> I put my faux Parmesan in a Parmesan shaker. And I found that when I use packaging like this, my family doesn't really notice the difference. They might think, Oh, this this isn't this doesn't quite look right, but they don't pay much attention to it because it's in a familiar packaging. They just use it, and I I use it as I'm uh, cooking. And a good example of that is my salt shaker. They will say, "Oh, pass me the salt," and they'll use this, but it's not salt. It's no salt. <laughs> So because I put it in the salt shaker, they'll salt at the table and not, not even pay any attention that they're not using salt. So just another one of my little tricks. Okay, so that just needs to heat because of course everything there is cooked. So it's heated up real nice. And I'm going to turn this down to low. And then I'm going to just take my pasta, 
hopefully you can see. Drain it a little bit. I'm using a slotted spoon so that it drains out the bottom. Putting it in there. And I'll just fill this skillet up. Because like I said, this has fast become one of my family's favorite dishes. And I only found this in the grocery store a couple weeks ago. So I think this is probably the third time I fixed it. And, you know, I have one of those persnickety teenage daughters. And when she comes in the kitchen and sees this sitting on the counter and says, Oh, are we having that for supper? Oops, one for the dogs. Um, that is just a win for me as a mom because, you know, my kids are not vegan. They're vegan in my home, but they eat whatever they want when they're out of the home. Um, the best I have got on that is that my daughter has agreed not to have any milk at school. So she gets a bottle of water with her lunch instead of a carton of milk, which is what they normally would have provided her with. And she has the option to have water. So she's agreed that because she grew up a milk drinker. She's actually, I think my only child that isn't severely lactose intolerant and um, so she has always been a very big milk drinker so um, you know she fought us at first when we switched to uh, soy milk and you know we tried everything we tried the almond and cashew and all of that and soy was her favorite and so that's the one that we do and um, So anyway, when the kids get excited about a dish that is plant-based, that's when I feel like I have succeeded as a mom. So here we are. This is what we're having for dinner tonight. And then just, that's going to heat through because of course these will cool down a little bit while I was waiting to film. And then I just take my faux parmesan and I sprinkle it right on top, right before I serve it. And basically, if you miss that, all it is is one cup of nutritional yeast and one cup of oat flour, which of course I ground myself in my Vitamix. And um, it gives it just a kind of cheesy taste and it gives the look of a parmesan cheese. So. It makes it real nice and I am just going to bring you over here just so you can see that. There we are. See how it looks like a Parmesan cheese on top. So it's a very appealing dish as well. So I do hope you like the videos and I hope you like the simple recipes, simple recipes for a simple life and just keep your food simple and your life exciting. <laughs> So please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because we have lots more videos. And I think we're close to 150 now, so be sure and scroll through if you're new to the channel and see what else you might like, okay? Have a good day.